Fort Valley State University taking agriculture to new lands. This is the school's rare study abroad, pro study abroad program. B.J. Patterson talked with some ag students and a professor about the program and what they experienced. Yes, I'm holding shea butter from Ghana. It is a country located in West Africa and one of the many locations FESU students went to learn about international agriculture and gain some cultural competence. One of the things that I noticed off the, off, uh, the back is just different products come with different, different issues. Tyler Dorsey, a senior animal science major at Fort Valley State University and one of seven undergrads who got the opportunity of a lifetime. He says studying abroad introduced him to new opportunities and he learned something about agriculture overseas that you may not find in the States. If you touch the rotten part of a cocoa, cocoa pot and you go touch another one, it will rot that pot. The disease is called black pot, a fungus that grows rapidly due to rain and humidity and lack of warm temperatures or sunlight. If you don't pick that pot off the tree, then eventually wind will blow off of it. And if that hits another pot, then Senior in Agricultural Economics major Manaya Miller says her biggest takeaway was seeing how feminism is embraced in West Africa. There was a lot of women in charge, a lot of women in higher positions. So I really liked that. It was good and really inspirational for me to see. This year, students traveled to Cote d'Ivoire, French for Ivory Coast, the highest market for cocoa pods. Five days later, they traveled to Ghana to learn more about the cocoa industry and shea butter. Professor Mohamed Ibrahim says they are helping students build international connections and cultural competence. The um, exposure to things that you are not familiar with and you start learning more about them, you never know when you're going to use the information. The university says they're working on a new international program that will also help the students learn new languages. In Fort Valley, BJ Patterson, 13W MAZ News. Now the school says they're trying to bring more study abroad programs to students. In 2015, they took students to Saudi Arabia, but the university has had a hard time getting money to fund the program ever since. 